In this video we're going to look at a better way to use the activity builder. And I say a better way, something for you to consider when you're building activities or you find them uh, from the smart exchange or you download them somewhere. Could they be made better? So I'm going to show you a little bit of the activity builder. We'll look at the pedagogical value of using it better as I'm calling it better. And we'll take a look at how you can change one to make it better. The activity builder lets you create sorting activities. You can sort images, text into containers and when an object is put into a container you can get instant feedback of whether it's the correct container. So the default when you create an activity builder activity, the default for correct items, items that go into the correct container is for them to fade out. Maybe there are uses for that sometimes but I think that it's probably not the best thing to do if it's the correct answer and here are a couple reasons why if all the correct answers fade out and the incorrect answers don't then you're left with only the incorrect answers visible when you're done I don't know if that's the correct visible feedback that you want to give or depending on the activity you could be left with absolutely nothing except the containers showing the correct items are gone they fade out so there's no visual reinforcement that part is missing you don't see what those correct answers are and because they're gone further discussion of why they're correct or whatever is impossible so let's take a look I found these activity builder activities so here we go meat fish fruit and vegetables so we drag it over oh if it's the wrong one it's gonna bounce back if it's correct, it'll disappear. What discussion can we have? Yeah, apparently we got them in the correct one, but what were some of them? I forgot. I don't know that that's the best thing. Here's another one that I found. Odd or even. So the blue, multiples of five. The pink, even. And the middle would be both. So we got them all correct, but they disappeared. No more discussion. We're left with nothing. Here's another one that I found. So you drag the terms in. If they are part of a cell, you're not necessarily matching them up to a specific part of the cell. Just if they are actual terms that go with cells, you put them in. If not, then they don't. And if you put it in incorrectly, it'll bounce back. So that one's not... Pedagogically, to me, it doesn't make sense to be left with all of the incorrect answers. How would we do this better? So now we are going to redo this one. To me, it makes more sense that they stay for this one. None of them are going to disappear. They just need to be in the correct area. I would rather that they stay in the correct area so then we can have a discussion after this activity. So to edit this, I'm going to come here to the add-on tab. Looks like the puzzle piece. And whenever I'm editing these, I'm going to turn off the auto-hide. So here at the bottom in this tab, I'm going to click the auto-hide. That way, this tab won't keep collapsing every time I click back on the page. So I'm going to select the object. So I have this object, the even circle and edit. So maybe I downloaded this from the Smart Exchange or something and I, I said, well, I don't like the way it works. I think I want them to stay. So I come in here, these for pink circle. These are the ones that are accepted. These are the ones that are rejected. If you go here into the Settings tab, this is where you can change it. So instead of having them fade out, I'm going to have them spin. So wherever they get put in this area, they'll spin and then stay. And when they're rejected, they can bounce back. So I'm not changing the things. The ones with the green checks are the ones that will be accepted. The red X's are the ones that will be rejected. But now they will spin instead of fade out. So I can click Done. Then I select the next, which is this area in the middle. Here are the objects that are accepted. That's fine. That's not the problem. Come back into settings and let's make them spin. 
Done. Select the blue circle. Edit, settings, spin. Done. Now we're done. I want to go back out, test it. I'm done with this tab now, so I can turn the auto hide back on and go back out. So now we've got even eight. Not a multiple of five. So there it is. Goes there and it spins. 20. It's a multiple of five and even. Goes there. So you get the visual feedback, but they don't disappear. Now, when we're finished with this, we can have a discussion about it. To me, that's a better way of using the activity builder to build an activity, whether you're creating it yourself or modifying one that's been created. I hope that was helpful. Give it a try. I think you will find as well that that's a better way to use the activity builder.